The trend of working from anywhere, just carrying your laptop around, pulling it open, seems to be increasing day by day. But what does it really mean to be an anywhere worker and what can you actually do to make sure that you're staying on track with your work, with your business, while doing it from anywhere. I've been doing this for about six months now and I'm gonna share what has worked for me, what hasn't, so you can also see the tips and tricks to boost your productivity on the road. Currently, I'm at the Selena location in Portugal where you can find co-working spots, this activity spot, a ton of events, and it's just really great when you are working around the world. They have it pretty much set up. And right here is usually where I start my days with a workout and a meditation before I get going to work. But one of the main things I have learned throughout this time is that you have to spend, at least for me, at least a month or more in a location. Here's why. When I found myself moving, like spending one week or two weeks in a certain location and then going to another one, I noticed that first of all, I was working a lot less time than what I wanted to be working and I wasn't getting to know the city like I wanna know it. For me, it's not just about getting to know the touristy spots, but actually understanding what it's like to live in that city like a local. So if I'm doing one week or two weeks, well, in reality, it's either getting to know the city or working, not both. But if I've been doing at least a month, I can keep my routine, which we're going to jump into, work just as if I were working when I was home, and get to explore the city. All right, I'll be right back, because it's time to work out. Whew. The word intense is an understatement for that workout. In my opinion, you have a work routine and then you have a life routine. And sticking to both of those has increased my productivity. Let's start off with my routine outside of work. Just like you saw, wake up bright and early, head over to the activity and wellness room. I'll get my workout in, go grab breakfast with Gabe, and then get ready and get to work. At around three o'clock after full day of work is when I'll go out and begin exploring the city, catching the sunset, all that good stuff. When it comes to the actual routine at work, it ties into point number three, making sure that I'm maintaining those weekly main tasks that I've set up. So for me, for example, it looks like this. Monday is my uploading day to YouTube. Tuesday is when I'm actually writing the newsletter for creators and entrepreneurs. Then Wednesday, I'll plan the video for the next week. Thursday has always been my filming day no matter where I am. And then Friday, I'll edit or I'll send those videos out to my editors. This way, no matter where I am, I know exactly what I have to get done. Of course, there's tons of other things that happen throughout the week, meetings and things like that, but that's like the main focus of each day. And I know having that set helps me stay organized. And just like that, with all the things that start adding up, comes a very key part in boosting my productivity. And that's understanding what I'm going to delegate, what I'm going to hire, and what I'm actually going to do myself. My secret to deciding this is using the Eisenhower decision matrix. Pretty much it works like this. If there's something of high impact and high return, let's say something like filming, for sure I need to do it. Then we have high impact, low return, sometimes like team meetings where you know, I have to be there, but it's not really something that's bringing and changing and moving the needle. Now where it gets good is this part right here. Low impact, but high return. For that, what I usually do is I hire experts on Fiverr, depending on what I need specifically. For example, video editors, SEO experts, tag researchers. Obviously that's specific to my business, but there's anything and everything you can think of on Fiverr. And last but not least, we have the last square, which is low impact and low return. These are for sure things that I hire for. Most of this is like admin tasks, and that of course can be found on Fiverr as well. For my business, about more than 75% of the people I've hired are from Fiverr. I love being a Fiverr buyer because I have everything there. No matter what task I'm looking for, I'll just search it up. I have a ton of reviews to vet for. The people I've selected have been very, very good. And last but not least, number five, keep in mind that you're traveling. You're working from anywhere, so you have to take advantage of both sides. It doesn't mean just travel and forget about your work because probably if you're working from anywhere, you're doing something you're pretty passionate about. 
So keep on building that business, but make sure that you have a good balance between both. Divide the time and try anything you can to make sure that you're also increasing productivity so that when you're sitting down, you're actually getting the right things done in the least amount of time. So anything like apps that incorporate the Pomodoro method, I personally love using Toggle Track to track my time. Notice where I'm spending just way too much time that I could be doing something a lot more efficient. And of course, little side things like using music that helps you concentrate, making sure you're blocking your social media apps so you're not scrolling when you should be getting your work done little things like that make a big difference. So there you have it. If you have thought about becoming an anywhere worker, where would be the first place that you'd want to visit? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you have any questions, I know I wanted to ask a ton of things when I got started. So if you do have those, go ahead and just DM me on Instagram.